Hello everybody, Reska here from Tactical Scream, and today I'm going to be showing you how to beat the boss, the Magical Smelter Demon, in the Dark Souls 2 DLC, Crown of the Old Iron King. He is the last boss that I encountered, he is optional, he's found at the end of the Iron Passage, and for me at least, he gave me a considerable amount of hassle. You should have beaten the original Smelter Demon that's in the main campaign already, although this one, as you can see, is not fire enchanted, this one is magic enchanted, if you couldn't tell by his name. And the fight hasn't really changed that much. I'm currently doing this without an NPC. As you can see, I'm doing this on my own to show you a tactic. I'm playing a character that uses a very heavy Ultra Greatsword. It's the Pursuer's Greatsword, and I'm using the Great Shield as well. And that combination works well for the first third of this fight, where, as you can see, you are well, I am able to block the vast majority of his attacks. The only damage that's getting through, actually, is he's already enchanted his middle section, and that does a damage over time when you get close enough. But you can completely block all his attacks physically if you've got enough stamina. When he gets to this point, when he seppukus himself and enchants his sword, you see I ditch my shield because uh, the magic attacks from the sword now go straight through. From this point, you're going to be, want to be rolling the entire time. It's very difficult to get right. Although something to bear in mind, in addition to avoiding when he stabs the floor because a shockwave will come out, Something to bear in mind is that, unlike the other two bosses in this DLC, rolling left is the precedent in this fight. Rolling left, backwards and forwards, rolling right rarely gets you anywhere. It does work, but you're much safer to roll left. As you will see, for that move you need to watch out for. Sometimes it's shockwave, sometimes it doesn't. Also, a quick point of back earlier on in the video. When he reaches his first form, when he enchants his stomach, that can cause a shockwave as well. Watch out for that. Don't get too close just because he's standing still. His shockwaves are a very good opportunity to heal up. You will undoubtedly need to unless you are super skilled, much more than I am. Yes, the, the sweeping attacks that he does with this sword, they're fairly easy to roll if you roll left. As you can see, I'm able to dodge them pretty much all the time. The most dangerous move that he will do is not that one. That one's fairly easy to roll, I just mistimed that. It's when he lunges at you and the sword comes overhead. When he is in this one, that one, I don't know how I dodged that, but I rolled forward. That seemed to work, this attempt. This was maybe my 25th or 30th attempt. I've no idea how many times I died to that specific move in particular. But rolling left does not cut it. That will easily take off half your health. He is very susceptible to lightning attacks. Something to bear in mind, obviously not magic. And that is pretty much it. It took a lot of effort to get through. I imagine you will struggle unless you are considerably more skilled than I am. So that's the tactic. Stick with your shield and sword for the first third when he enchants his stomach. Um, keep, keep your distance, but keep going the same tactics. And then as soon as he gets his enchanted sword, switch out, double hand your weapon, get rid of your shield, and just roll to save your life. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.